hello my beautiful people welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again we have this interesting one from philip shaibu the current deputy governor of um, edo state uh, philip shaibu um, is someone who was um, engulfed in a lot of um, battles in his state at some point he felt like it was over for him because he decided to um, <laughs> go on a different direction from his principal from god in obaseki if we recall um, the early days of um, <laughs> of uh, uh, contesting for the second tenor, Philip Shaibu wasn't in the People's Democratic Party. He was with Obaseki in the All Progressive Congress APC. But well, when um, Obaseki was refused the ticket, he moved. After he moved, uh, Philip Shaibu followed, and they were like um, working together closely. There was even a point in time Obaseki was saying to Philip Shaibu that you don't have to move. Shaibu said he did not move due to any form of uh, persuasion or anything, that he moved in his own will. Everything in the state was going on well. Not uh, long before um, their tenor rounded up, that was when their battle started with Obaseki and Shaibu. And surprisingly, um, impeachment uh, uh, came up, the talks of impeachment. He, he struggled it out. Now, Philip Shaibu has got a message. My legal battle is a message to both Godwin Obaseki and other politicians. This one is really, really, it's a serious matter. What Philip Shaibu has just dropped. We know that uh, um, he had the interest of becoming the governor of the state. He was willing to, but um, things didn't go that way. Uh, and uh, the, it was a... Um, was it the beginning of this month? Yeah, the beginning of this month, November, he released a statement that uh, those that thought that um, he was not going to finish, that he's actually finishing and he's grateful. He said a lot of things um, to the people of um, Edo State. Now he's sending out another message and in this message he's sending, he used some strong words, some strong words. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment, but before we do, guys, Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button, and also please don't forget to share our news. Thank you very much. Now into the main details of the report. Edo State Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu has articulated his rationale for contesting his impeachment through legal means, asserting that his actions aim to bolster Nigeria's legal framework and safeguard the Deputy Governor's office from future indignities. In remarks made to the press in Abuja, Shaibu conveyed that his legal challenge served as a warning to both Governor Godin Obaseki and other political figures regarding the necessity of honoring the deputy governor's position. According to Vanguard, he underscored his commitment to ensuring that no governor disrespects this vital institution in the future. Though democracy is now firmly established in Nigeria, it is not without its challenges. My struggle is aimed at enhancing our legal system, as this case illustrates the critical need for adherence to democratic principles, Shaibu stated. There are political figures who do not embody democratic values. They have no place in a true democratic environment. Shaibu asserted, the significance of accountability among democratic institutions, declaring, I'm dedicated to combating anti-democratic practices in a dual state. Our case is currently in court with the subsequent hearing scheduled for November 25th. It is essential for the populace to recognize that there is no aspiration on addressing criminal offenses. We are committed to this pursuit until we we'll establish a legal precedent in Nigeria. We don't have any justice system in Nigeria, unfortunately. That's the that's bitter truth. Despite the fact of everything he's saying, that is what he's fighting for is for the for the future because the Ateno is already rounding up. Uh, Monde Okwebolo has got um, his VP, so um, Shaibu's time is over. But he's saying he's doing this for the future, for democratic um reasons that is combating seriously fighting anti-democratic practices in the state but 
in our country, Nigeria, they don't practice democracy. Unfortunately, we 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 tend to call it democracy, but um, it looks like the definition politicians have got for democracy is different. It doesn't have anything to do with the people. Um, <laughs> the strong part I was talking about is uh, Shaib was saying that uh, his actions they were a strong warning to Governor Gordon Obaseki and other political figures. That you cannot just mess with a deputy governor. You know, the, the, in our country, deputy governors and even um, vice presidents, it's everywhere um, they are they are, are not elected. They are actually picked by their by the main candidates. So Shaibu was picked as well. So uh, for him, he feels that because he wasn't elected, because he was picked, the principal, his principal, can do anything and um, just decide to um, change change his mind or change preference or change the sort of anything that has to do with the relationship. It was really bad. It really went sour between Shaibu and Obaseki. Well, uh, Nigerians uh, would always react. Someone here says that APC used you to destroy PDP so they, are, so they can win. Others are destroying PDP. What did you gain now? Mm. Someone said it was Obaseki's pride and not listening to advice that destroyed PDP. Another one, um, you are a double slave working with Obaseki and you also want to work under APC. Politics is a game of interests, unfortunately, but it's not meant to be so, but that is what is going on in our country. Someone says, how does your legal battles affect Obaseki, because Obaseki is finished his turn on now. But what Shaibu, see what Shaibu said at the end. Shaibu said, even if um, he said the way he put it, he said, We're committed to this legal pursuit until we establish a legal precedent in Nigeria. And uh, our course is currently in court with the subsequent hearing for this date. It is essential for the populace to recognize that there is no expiration. Yeah, that's where I was going, that there is no expiration on addressing criminal offense that statement there means something oh guys he's saying that even if undertone the undertone there is even if obaseki standard is rounding up there is no expiration date for uh for addressing criminal offenses hmm. another one says it is here in Edo state that i'm seeing deputy governor coming out to talk other states I don't even know who they are names, not to talk of carrying any function. You are supposed to be worshipping Obaseki for letting you carry some functions in Edo State. When your brother Oshomele was the governor of Edo State, did you hear or see Odubu coming out to say anything? Obaseki have made you to be popular in Edo State instead of you to be thanking him, but you allowed APC to use you to get what they want in a wrong way. Political, you will never be trusted. And Oshomole is being careful about you. The last one here, you are a very funny man for fighting somebody who does not have your time. Interesting comments here. Uh, anyway, um, uh, he said what he wants to say. His legal battle is to Boto Baseki. So he's even made it clear that uh, who he's fighting with that is Obaseki. Let's hear your own take, guys. Leave us your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.